Hello, welcome to Mr. Locke's YouTube channel. Let's talk about solving algebraic problems. In particular, let's talk about how do we solve an equation. Let's look at number one. It says 3x minus 12 equals 9x. Our objective is to solve for the variable x. So let's begin by drawing a line that divides the equation into a left-hand side and a right-hand side. So we need to get our like terms together. That includes our number 12 and our terms containing an x. So let's begin by adding 12 to each side of the equation. Let's add 12 to the left side and add 12 to the right side. If we do that, we're going to bring down the 3x down here. We'll have 3x equals 9x plus 12. Okay, so now we need to move our x is to the same side of the equation. So let's subtract 9x from both sides of the equation. Subtract 9x here, subtract 9x here. Okay, so we knew that 3x minus 9x, well that's going to be negative 6x. 9x minus 9x is 0, so we're going to cross that out, and we bring down the 12. There's one more step. We need to divide 12 by negative 6. So our answer, x equals 12 divided by negative 6. In other words, x equals negative 2 because 12 divided by negative 6 is negative 2. Let's look at that second equation. We have 7x minus 2 equals 5x plus 18. Let's solve that. So I'm going to draw a line right where the equal sign is. And we're going to begin by adding 2 to each side. If I add 2 on the left side, add 2 on the right side, we are going to have 7x equals, well, negative 2 plus 2 is 0, crossed it out, 5x plus 20. Okay. Next, we need to subtract 5x from both sides. So let's subtract 5x from the right-hand side and 5x from the left-hand side. So, I knew that 7x minus 5x is 2x. 2x equals 5x minus 5x is 0, cross it out, equals 20. One more step, let's divide both sides of the equation by 2. So, x equals 20 divided by 2. 20 divided by 2 is 10, so x equals 10. All right, now that we've solved some equations as our warm-up, let's actually take a look at a topic called classifying angles. One type of angle is called an acute angle. It's any angle that measures less than 90 degrees. One little trick to think of is that a baby is acute, it's cute, so it's a baby is small and it's acute, so we think of these angles as being angles that measure less than 90 degrees. Let's go ahead and draw a picture of an acute angle. If we draw two rays that have a common endpoint that measure less than 90 degrees, we call this an acute angle. That angle is going to be right here. That's an acute angle. Let's move on. Now a right angle, another word for right angle is perpendicular. It's an angle that measures 90 degrees. Here's an example of a right angle in the upper right hand corner of your screen. I could also draw a right angle that looks like this. Now I'm going to draw in a small little blue box. That indicates that that is a right angle which measures 90 degrees. Let's continue. Now an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is an angle that measures more than 90 degrees. An example of an obtuse angle would look like this. And the angle we are talking about is right here, from here to here. That's our obtuse angle.
Let's continue. Now, a straight angle. A straight angle is an angle that measures 180 degrees. It forms a straight line. Another example of a straight angle would just be a vertical. It would appear to be a vertical line. Or, if we have an, if we have a ray, let me try that again. If we have a ray that goes straight up, and we have a, a ray that goes straight down, we have formed a straight angle. And that measures from here to here, we will get 180 degrees. That would be 180 degrees. And remember that the full distance, if I were to complete this and make it a full circle, that would measure 360 degrees. The key information is that a straight angle measures 180 degrees. Think of it as being like halfway around the circle. Adjacent angle. Think about your neighbor. A neighbor is the person who lives, your next door neighbor is the person who lives right next to you. They would be adjacent to you. Think about the student who sits next to you in class. They are also adjacent to you. So an adjacent angle are just two ang angles that are right next to each other. Right here, these two angles are touching along that ray. So let's draw a little picture of some adjacent angles. If I draw a blue ray here, if I draw a green ray here, and I draw a red ray here, and I label these two angles, one and two, we can see that these two angles, one and two, are called adjacent angles. Now, a linear pair. A linear pair are two angles that are along a line. Here's our line right here. I'm going to color it with bl in blue. And they are two angles that form a straight line and add to measure 180 degrees. Now, we need to figure out what this angle, angle 2, is. Now, based on the properties of linear pairs, we know that angle 1 plus angle 2 equals 180 degrees. In other words, we need to determine what number plus 37 equals 180. We can write an equation that states 37 plus angle 2 equals 180. Now, to solve that equation for angle 2, we need to subtract 37 from both sides of the equation. If we do that, 37 minus 37, well, that's going to be 0. Cross that out. Angle 2 equals 180 minus 37, which is 143 degrees. Let's continue. Now, for vertical angles, they are angles opposite each other when the two lines cross. These angles are congruent. In other words, angle 4 is going to have the same measure as angle 2, and angle 3 is going to have the same measure of angle 1. Well, we know angle 2 measures 158 degrees. Therefore, angle 4 must also measure 158 degrees. Now, based on what we know about a linear pair of angles, we can say that angle 1 plus angle 4 equals 158. So let's write an equation. Angle 1 plus angle 4, I should say, equals 180 degrees. Now, we're given that, well, actually, we calculated that angle 4 equals 158 degrees. So we're going to write angle 1 plus 158 equals 180. Now to solve that equation for, for angle 1, all we need to do is subtract 158. In other words, angle 1 equals 180 minus 158. Now if we subtract those two numbers, we'll get 22 degrees. So angle 1 is equal to 22 degrees, and angle 3 is equal to 22 degrees. Let's continue. 
Let's take a look at supplementary angles. Supplementary angles means two angles that add together to equal 180 degrees. Notice that we have two angles, angle B and angle A. If we add those two angles up, they should equal to 180. So one angle plus 76 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. So we can write B plus A equals 180. Well, we knew that angle A is equal to 76 degrees, so I could write B, and instead of writing A, I'm going to write 76 equals 180. In order to solve that equation for B, I'm going to subtract 76 from both sides of the equation. Now, we have determined that B is equal to 104 degrees. Complementary angles are two angles that add together to equal 90 degrees. So, we have angles A and B. We know that A plus B must equal 90 degrees. We are also given that angle B is 52 degrees. So, I'm going to write A plus 52 degrees equals 90 degrees. In order to solve for A, I simply subtract 52 from both sides of the equation. Therefore, angle A is equal to 90 minus 52, which is 38 degrees. One more slide. Let's take a look at the last slide. We have a reflex angle. A reflex angle is an angle greater than 180 but less than 360 degrees. So we have an angle. We're trying to determine the, the measure of the green angle. So we know that angle ABC, which is from A to B to C, it equals to 35 degrees. And we want to figure out what is the rest of the angle measure that's indicated in green. The way we calculate that, we're going to start with 360. Well, we knew that 360 degrees is the angle measure completely around the circle. And we need to subtract our 35 degree slice. So 360 minus 35 will be 325 degrees. And that is the measure of the green angle ABC. Thank you for your time, and uh, I'll upload this video to YouTube.